Hey, today we're doing something new. Something that I have never tried before. I have been eyeing this place for a couple of years already and I had no idea that 2022 is the year where I will be given a chance to see the beauty of Pulag. It is also known as the third highest mountain in the Philippines and the first highest mountain here in Luzon. So before my Pulag trip, I started to do a lot of cardio like swimming, jogging, also my favorite, Muay Thai. Day zero, let's have coffee first, because later tonight at 10 p.m. we're gonna go up to Bakad Benguet to see the playgrounds of gods. Share with you my first major hike Here's to my Mount Pulag Diaries. We're all falling and we need a place to hide. Safe place somewhere in the woods we can start the fire. Day one is actually our yester time. We don't need to do anything, just rest, relax, and connect to the nature. One good thing about this place is they had no signal, so it's actually really good if you're doing soul searching or just a quick retreat from the reality. No sounds of cars, no polluted air, just you on the green meadows, far away from the city life. At around 4 p.m., we had our early dinner at one of the carinderias in the village. We ordered sinigang and adobo. They provided unlimited brown rice as well as free bananas. Due to our curiosity, we started to explore some trails near our homestay. Little did we know that this is the start of the trekking off the Mount Pulag. From here, you can see how peaceful their village is. Farming is also one of their source of income. And while we're exploring this trail, Funny part, we thought that there is a waterfall nearby because we heard a huge amount of water falling down. Then we found out there's a strong wind passing by. Imagine how strong that wind was. We went back home to have our coffee. Lights off will start at 8 p.m. and we gotta wake up at 11 p.m. to start off our 1 a.m. hike. From here, I gotta say goodnight. After three hours of nap, I started to wear two clothes underneath, one thermal jacket to make me feel warm while we start off our hike. Time check, 1 a.m. The locals have arrived and started to divide our groups into different numbers. They have also given us tips on what we need to do while we are hiking. After four hours of hiking, around 4 a.m., we finally reached the camp too. Couple of minutes later, it also started to rain. And if you'd ask me how strong the wind was, it can no longer be described anymore. No joke, it was heckin' cold. For a couple of hours, we have been stuck in this situation. It was almost zero visibility along the way. Unfortunately, some wasn't able to make it. Some experienced massive leg cramps, and some can handle the coldness anymore. Along the way, I also thought that I couldn't make it. Man, it was so cold and my knees are shaking. I can no longer breathe properly, but that wouldn't stop me. 
I'm almost there. I know I can make it to the summit. And after six hours of hiking, 12 hours in total, sharing with you my journey of reaching the first highest mountain in Luzon and the third highest mountain in the Philippines, Mount Pulag. Behind 